Hi, this is Todd Oltoff from ToddOltoff.com coming back at you with another screencast. And this week we'll continue our look at hoobs and walk through how to physically update the micro SD card on the device, as well as looking at how to do software updates through the hoobs interface. Now to update the hardware, there are four screws that need to be removed from the bottom of the device that are hidden behind rubber feet. Turn the device over and remove these rubber feet to see the screws. Then, using a Phillips screwdriver, remove all four screws from the bottom. They are long screws, so it might seem longer than normal to remove them. From there, you remove the cover and the board from the device, and turn it over to reveal the slot that holds the micro SD card. Gently remove the old card from the slot and put it aside. Now grab the new card sent to you by the Hoobs team and insert it back into the slot with the label side facing you. Now once the card has been replaced, you want to put the board back into the case with the micro SD side down, and then replace the top cover so that all of the components fit inside the box. Now you want to start the process of replacing each of the four screws that you took out initially. Now replace the rubber feet, which still should have enough adhesive to go back over the screws, and your hoobs box is completely put back together and ready to install. Now the final step is to plug the device into power and let it run the setup process for two to three minutes. If you're using Ethernet, then remember to plug the cable back into the device and you are finished with updating your Hoobs device. Now that we've walked through updating the micro SD card on your Hoobs device, let's take a look at how updates to the OS are handled in Hoobs. To do that, we need to go to the web browser and bring up the Hoobs interface at hoobs.local. Hi, this is Todd Oltoff from ToddOltoff.com coming back at you with another screencast. And this week we're going to continue our look at Hoobs, which is Homebridge out of the box system. And what we're going to do this week is I'm going to show you how to update your plugins. You can see here I have a plugin that's out of date. So I'm just going to go into the plugins area right here. And you can see this is the actual plugin that I need to update. And it says there's an update available. Now I have a few options. If I want to see the actual uh, page where the configuration is, I can come right in here. Uh, on NPM and take a look at what the plugin does and what how it changes the interface and all of that. This is for the config UI and so it is a change. I'm going to go ahead and just shut this down. Uh, I can also go to settings and if I just click on settings you can see that there are a number of things here in terms of what port it's on, uh, what the UI theme is, and you can see I've got the amber color, but I can change it to any other color I want, which is just going to change the configuration at the top. Uh, I've got my log viewer set up. I've got some advanced options here where I can put in the restart command, uh, reverse proxy host name. You can see the different things that I can do in here. Uh, temperature display units. Right now it's at Celsius. Uh, for me, I'm going to change it to Fahrenheit so I can make that change in there. And then I can also do an SSL uh, setup if I want to do that, uh, but that's for another, uh, another time. Uh, I won't show you how that's configured at this point. So that's about what I want there. I just wanted that one little change, so I'm going to say save. And you can see that the plugin has been saved with that change. Now, all I need to do to do the update is I'm just going to click on update right here. And you can see that it's going to give me information on the release and tell me what it's, what it's fixing. Uh, you can see just the various things that it's adding in there. And so we're going to go ahead and just say update. And so now it's going to uh, open a terminal window and start the update process. And what's nice is you just get to kind of take a look at it while it's doing its update. You can follow along uh, just like you would if you were doing the updates manually uh, outside this interface. And it's going to go ahead and go through its process. And when it's done, we should be all set and ready to go. So I'm just going to let this run and do its thing. And uh, when it's finished, I'll come back and show you what it looks like. Okay, so the update has been done. And it says we need to do a restart uh, in order to refresh it. So it gives me a restart button right here. Uh, you can kind of see in the background here it says installed. So everything should be set and ready to go. So what we're going to do is just go ahead and say restart Homebridge now. And so it's going to restart Homebridge. And you can see that it's going to redirect you when the server's back online. And so again, this is just going through the process of restarting. If you were, again, in Terminal, you would say Homebridge, and that would start the re restart of the uh, application. You can see now we're all set and ready to go. So we have success that the server's been restarted. And notice that the update area is gone here. If I just go back into the plugins area, uh, you can see here that uh, it shows that I have installed that update. 
and it's all set and ready to go if we just go back to status. So one of the nice things about Hoops is that the update process is very simple. Uh, you don't have to do too much to have that happen. It will do it all automatically for you, and that's what really uh, sets Hoops apart and just makes it a lot simpler to do if it's not something that you want to do in terms of messing with terminal commands. So that's all I have for this week. I'll be back at you next week with another screencast to help you learn how to do more things with your Mac. If you're interested in help in setting up your own Mac or software or need some troubleshooting help, feel free to contact me at todd at toddholtoff.com.